thank y'all for being here. Y'all look so good. <laughs> Woo. Anybody ready for Monday? I know. You know, sometimes we ready, sometimes we not right, but it's coming whether we want it to or not. Is that right? Yeah. Chai, I know for myself, I just left home because I'm between here and Chicago. So on the weekends, I go home to my son. And, oh, he be ready to drag mommy by the face. That's what I call it, being dragged by the face. Um, he's been into, well, he's into, I don't know if your kids are into sports, but my son, well, he's normally a basketball head. He got a basketball hoop in the swimming pool, a basketball hoop in the bedroom, a basketball hoop in the garage. <laughs> Honey, we basketball down, okay, down. And I'm the kind of mom I love to do what the kids do. And through each phase, they go through another thing, honey. But the, each phase they get to, the older I get, okay? <laughs> and I, I be trying to keep up. I'm hanging in there. So as of late, this past week, he decided he wanted to go collect every ball to every sport there is, which mean I had to try those sports with him. And I remember driving him to the park. I was so sleepy. And I saw people out there on the state. He wanted to play tennis this weekend. That's what we did. And I'm like, Lord, I ain't got the energy for this tennis, but somehow I found the will to get out there and get the tossing that ball around. But them kids don't really know how to play no tennis. <laughs> they hit it like it was a baseball. <laughs> and we lost every single one. And I started, I said, I caught on. I said, okay, so, oh, okay, we got about six more balls left. Then that mean I could go to sleep once we, <laughs> you know, shoot them over the fence. So we lost all the, all the freaking balls we could find. But anyway, my baby has been helping. Don't you, aren't you proud when your kids are proud of you and what you do? <laughs> so lately, little David, he's older now. I'm not allowed to hold his hand or call him his nickname. So I got to call him D.O.J. Well, D.O.J. goes around screaming out of the car window, watch the Jennifer Hudson show! Watch the Jennifer Hudson show! <laughs> Watching, and little David will be proud to know that you all are watching the show. Um, y'all know I love, do you know I love watching Family Feud Chat? Because that's my show. I think everyone has a soundtrack of their homes. Well, the soundtrack of my house is Family Feud. That's how you know I'm at home. So what I want to do is one of my favorite things we do on this show each week. So we sent out a survey and I'm about to learn a lot about you guys through this survey. Don't get quiet on me now. Don't you get quiet on me now. So here's the first question our survey asks. Have you ever lied to get out of a speeding ticket? Don't look at me, okay? I'm always accused of driving slow, but I do not drive slow, I drive gracefully. That's what I say. Okay, let me guess. I believe half of y'all. Maybe about a little, 60 of y'all. I'm gonna say 60. Okay, give me the envelope drum roll, please. We gonna do this survey. Huh, and the number of people who have lied to get out of a speeding ticket is 37. Oh, I didn't do so good. Hello, how are you, what's your name? Jennifer. Hi, oh, hi Jennifer. <laughs> do they call you Jenny or Jennifer? Jenna. Jenna. <laughs> oh, I've never been called that. Okay. Well, I'm Jennifer or Jenny. Um, tell me your story. So it was more so I didn't talk my way out of it. I kind of conned my way out of it. Huh. So I'm in a residential area and I'm driving and I see them turn around to follow me, the police officer. And my first reaction, I'm not sure why, was to turn in the first house I saw. <laughs> so I turn in and I'm not sure what I was going to do. I just, I guess he's still there. He's still watching me. So I I walk up, I said, I guess I'll pretend I'm looking for somebody. So I knock on the door, and a beautiful, beautiful elderly lady opens the door. And I just said, hello. <laughs> she says, hello. And I can't remember the name I made up, but I did say Lisa. I said, is Lisa home? <laughs> she says, no, she's not. But I look around and said, while I'm talking, while talking here, the policeman just kept on rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I have to say is we stood there about 20 minutes because you could tell she wanted some company. So <laughs> Luckily, she wanted there. company. We talked about gardening. We talked about everything. So I feel as if I made her day, but guess what? She, she made, made your my, day. She made my day. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for sharing that. That is hilarious. Okay, we have another one. Our survey asks, have you ever seen a ghost? Let me think. Maybe 15 of y'all. That's what I think. All right, drum roll, please. Ah! That was a story, honey. You gave me the number of people who have seen a ghost is 32. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Shalia. Where are you from? I live here in LA. Oh, okay. Now tell me about the, your ghost um, adventures. So one day I was coming home from work. Um, I opened the door and someone called my name. And I'm like, what? Wow. And so when I say what, they call it again. So I'm looking around. I jetted to my car, got my mace, came back in the house. And I was going through my house and I said, somebody's going to get it. Somebody's <laughs> going to get it. Somebody's going to get it. So when I, when I figured out no one was in my house, I grabbed my sage and I just went through the house <laughs> saying, leave, spirit, leave. leave. Just leave, spirit, just leave. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> wow. Okay. So you live by yourself? Yes. And what was it? Was it a man or a woman's voice? It was a woman's voice. Do you think you got a good? Did you, did you say it or did you pray I it hope out? I what did because I, I hadn't heard it um, anymore, but I did have some experiences in my house. So it hasn't messed with you since? Um, they mess with me, yes, but I haven't heard the voice. Uh. <laughs> now, see, I don't know what I'd do about that. <laughs> has, anything, has anything ever fallen off the walls? Well, my keys always go missing, and one time my granddaughter was at my house. She's six years old, and I heard her talking to somebody. I said, who are you talking to? She said, oh, I'm just talking to the person that lived with you, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, no. Nah. are you serious? She's like, yeah. I'm like... Okay. No, no, that ain't okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Our survey asked, have you ever hooked up with someone in a public place? Now, let me guess. Huh. Now, your face, young man, look real stuck. I'm going to say 40 of y'all. That's a lot? That's what I, that's what I think. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to find out the truth. Drum roll, please. Elizabeth. What do we have? The number of people who have hooked up in a... See, I was close. 35. <laughs> Hi. Sir, hello. Hi. How are you? What's your name? I'm good. I'm Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Did you do this, Eddie? I sure did. Tell me all about um, it, Eddie. A couple times. Back <laughs> um, <laughs> in my 20s um, at Disney World. At Disney World? <laughs> What was Mickey Mouse? What? what oh, not there. It was on the rides. <laughs> okay, sir. What? It was on the rides? What ride was it? Well, a couple of them, but my favorite was like... A couple? <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm listening. Time. I'm listening. Um, <laughs> you made me get up. My what? favorite one was Haunted Mansion, but you got to be really careful. If you do it on the People Mover above Tomorrowland, you just got to be really careful that Space Mountain doesn't go down because the lights come up. But you gotta make sure you don't get caught because then you'll get banned. That never happened, like not banned. I still go if I go back to Florida. <laughs> not embarrassed by it at all. <laughs> do you go just to, just to do this? Or you no, go for God, what's no. first, Mold the roller coaster no, or? Uh -uh. That was back in the 20s. Now how many times did you do this? I don't remember that. You don't know? No, a lot. Okay, was it a different person every time? No, no, a couple. <laughs> did they know you was gonna do this before you did it? Um, a few of them. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for sharing that with me. Oh my God, that, I would never think of a roller coaster the same again, or Disney World. Oh my God. <laughs> As always, thank y'all for sh oversharing with me. We have a great show, we'll be right back.